problem with with that that's the issue i think as we talk let's go let's, let's get back on track with the music industry and music and business right you have people like the reason why drake is so successful the reason why 50 cent the reason why all these people are successful because it's a team it's a team and there are times when when drake you know what 40 i'm gonna go with you what you say it's a time when 50 talk let's shot money excel I'm gonna ride with you, what you say. And and as as black men, as black men, we have an issue with authority to begin with. We also have an issue with with collaboration. I don't think it's that. I think I, I don't think okay. there's an issue with leadership or collab with leadership or collaboration. But however, I do think I have to have enough trust in the person that I'm saying, you know what, go ahead, I'm gonna ride with you. Not saying that you're not trustworthy not saying that you're someone who can't be trusted. I'm saying in general, for me as an artist, for me to say, hey, you know what, Boogie, I'm going to roll with you. I have to have a certain amount of trust. <laughs> and this, I'm just using you as an example, not you personally. I have to have a, a certain amount of, I do. I have to have a certain amount of trust. He didn't see it. I saw it. I see it. You saw what? <laughs> the, the sign. You have to have a certain amount of trust that that it's, it's gonna work out. I can't see that. And, and that, that's that's that person's job. You ain't gotta trust nothing. Not, gotta, no, no, that's no, no, that no, person's no. job. I, you have to have a track record of me being able to trust that I can put this in your hands and it's gonna get done the correct way. See, what I'm saying that's your job, bro. K K K O C go. You got a manager? Yeah. How many times do you and your manager get into conversations about music and how to put it out? Is that a normal thing? Oh, uh, yeah, and basically every project. Right. Um, and see, what I what I have to do is uh, with that is is roles, right? Different people have different roles. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, um, like uh, with my manager, I get her to only do these things right here. Yeah. Right? So I do this right here. And is she totally in control with, of this right here? Is she like what the things she has to do? Is she does she have the the last say on that or is it she still come back to you? Oh she still like come back to she you. has she has the opportunity. Um I don't know why I keep bringing I, I know why I, I was watching documentary that's why. But um there are times when as a as an artist my manager signs me up for something. I'm cool with that, man. That's what he. That's what he does. We're not sitting here going back and forth or talking about. Well, I said, no, nah, man. What you? I. The reason why you my manager because I trust you. To do that. That's, that's the but reason that's, why. That's, there's the no conversation thing, after that. I, but see, what you just said is the main thing. No one is debating if I have yeah. a manager and my manager. My manager's job is to manage my career in the right direction. It's going cool. I'm not yeah. going to go back and forth with that mm -hmm. manager. Yeah. What I'm saying is. I have to have trust in that manager. If I, yeah. this ain't somebody I, just off the street that I said, okay, cool, you're my manager, <laughs> I'm riding with you. Like, of you have not. to have a track record and a background that I know I can ride with you. And if you don't have that, then I ain't riding with you. Now, watch this. Watch this. How are you telling a manager to have a track record 
to prove to you and you ain't what 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 do you have well, to how, make how him have so how, I'm how, asking do, you, how question. do you pick a I, you let me finish how how do, you're saying my manager has to have xyz right yeah. but in the same breath if you were and not you i'm saying as an artist because artists arts roots arts roots a lot they want their manager to be to have all his credentials Nigga, you ain't got no credentials man i do have credentials as an if artist, if you had credentials, you wouldn't be looking artist, for a manager, nigga. As, you, as a manager, come find you. Time out. As an artist, my work is is my credentials. So, <laughs> a, a dub the rapper. I have these. I have the set of skills. I have. Yeah. I have music. I have these demos that people have heard and seen. They see okay. that I have talent that they can work with. So when a manager yeah. comes in, you yeah. know, like I'm I'm an artist and I'm looking for a manager and I go contact yeah. such and such, and now I'm sitting mm -hmm. down with this manager. This manager has listen to my portfolio of, of, of work or, or my catalog mm -hmm. and that manager mm -hmm. is now saying you know what i've listened to your catalog or i've seen your 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 reels i've seen a couple mm -hmm. of movies or plays that you've been in you have talent yeah. that i can work with i feel like that you have yeah. talent that i can work with and put you in position to do better yeah. to excel x y and z so mm, once I that's agree. been established as an artist yeah. I'm okay, cool. You said all these things. Now let me see what you have done. Who have you worked with where you've moved mm -hmm. to the next level? If you don't yeah. have any 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 resume of people that you've dealt with, whether mm -hmm. directly or indirectly, and got them yeah. to a, the next level or a certain tier, or or you've maximized their talent level and taken them to the max, I'm not gonna have confidence in you. I still I still mm -hmm. gotta see a track record that you've been able to do this. So you're saying that, so oh, so let me let me let me let me say that's what you're saying. To me, I feel like that's one way to look at it. But if I'm a manager, I'm gonna be like, bro, how is you questioning me about my track record, bro? And you don't have if you had if you had the credentials that you asked me to have, you wouldn't need me. That's not true. It's the day that came got you, bro. I'm an artist. I, I had the same conversation mean? with kids every day, bro. If you going to look for an AU team, you ain't that good, my nigga. If you looking for a manager, you're not that good. If you looking for a manager, you're not that good. They come if you that good, they coming to get you. That's how it works in life. When you are talented as fucking, you got they come and find you. You don't go look for them, they come find you. Whether it's basketball, music, acting. Fighting. It all if you that good, they come it, find it, you. A, it all depends on where you showcase your talents, and and, and B, it all nah, they come find where... you. Okay, they come find you. They so when KLC they go find go, they go... KLC go and Dominique. Let me ask you a question. Y'all both are actors and actresses. So, and Correct. go ahead and and answer that for Boogie because I might not answer it right. Of what? About a managers coming to look for you? Yes. As as right now, me being where I am, I'm not actively looking for a manager per se. Mm -hmm. But usually you get to a point when you're in your ad career, you're like, okay, now I need a manager. Let me go find the manager that's best for you, best for me. Because they may come to you, but they may not be, they may not fit what you're looking for and how you want to maneuver. So I might be good as shit. But whoever coming to me might not be what's best for me. So when I'm ready to look for that manager, I'm going to look for my manager. Not necessarily, they're not going to always come to you. Manager, agent, or otherwise. You're speaking of the, of the perfect fit, though. But you're saying when you, as you are right now, there are managers or agents that see you and see your good work and like, hey, I can work with you. Now, it might 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 might, might not be the fit that for you, but but with anything in life, when you put out quality product, you attract honey, attract bees, right? So, if I, but I'm talking about if I have if 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 I have this talent or I'm trying to get here, why would I partner with somebody who is not a fit for me? I, what I'm what I'm saying is what I'm saying is. And I'm not disagreeing. I'm not. I'm not budding you. I'm saying that more times than not, the conversation is not if the fit is right. The conversation from the artist, and this is speaking from an artist. I know artists. I've been an artist. I've had this this fault in my game. I want somebody who's going to put me stand next to Fifty Cents because I feel my talent puts me there or puts me in that conversation. 
But then the manager like, bro, you ain't got that 50 cent. In the time you've been doing what you do, you're talented, but you haven't got to that point. How do you feel because you were talented that you should be next to them? There are steps to this, right? And you're telling me that I have to have worked the 50 cent in order to work with you. We in the same boat, bro. We both are, I'm a talented manager. I haven't had the talent to get there. You're a talented artist. You haven't had the, the, the manager. The, 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 the come up a lot of times is purest and best when we come up together. If I'm up here already and I can, I'm can i talking 50 cent, well, shit, I'm going to charge you. If I have the ability to put you in the positions to get so-and-so, how am, I, how, am, how am I gonna say, yeah, you can get 10% or I'm taking 10% of what you make when I'm already in the conversation? I think you moved to the goalposts you... because we didn't we didn't we weren't necessarily saying that I gotta have a five star manager to manage me. I simply was saying I gotta have somebody on my team that I have trust in that can get me to the levels I wanna get to. When I say I wanna see a track record, that's all I'm saying. I wanna see that you have a track record of getting artists uh actors actresses uh, uh a talent manager to help me get this 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 computer programming job i want to see that you have a track record of helping people people to get there i ain't mm. saying that you got to be 50 cent x manager dmx x manager no nah, i just want to see you have a process this works and you can get me to the next level okay oh well interesting <laughs> what y'all got I in heard. closing man it's, it's been a minute man I don't want to hold y'all too long did you man. did you Aaron couldn't he couldn't yeah, see he my did. sign I ain't got my yeah, yeah. I, forgot, a, I forgot I forgot it's my it's bedtime, bedtime. Yeah. it's my bedtime that's what it say man, she finna go watch TV yeah so uh I want to get to KOC yeah I want to talk mm -hmm. to KOCG about this white rapper thing <laughs> and one more thing before we before we get out of here I don't know if you want to talk about this, Dominique. Cause this is going to be some super duper rap stuff. I don't know if you want to get down. If you do, you can. You know what? She, you know, she read the itinerary. She was next to me when I was creating it. So she already said she ain't got nothing to say about that. Okay. I know. That's my time. I love y'all. <laughs> and um, you see my cover is here because it's cold. I'm going to sit on the sofa with Harlow and take a nap. So Harlow, I said hi. She going to bite you because you be acting funny, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> Good night. All right, see you later. Boom. All right, so um, the question that Dub posed was who? You want to read was, it? I got it in front of me. No, I know what it is. I, I don't like the white Jesus part. Who is the, who is the, is Eminem the top tier white rapper? Who else could you really name? Uh... I said that Eminem would be, I said this, it's, it's maybe four or five white rappers who I would put as, at the top and they're for different reasons, right? I said, uh, I said it might be Mike Mac Miller. I said it might be, who I say? I said Mac Miller. I said Eminem. I said, uh, did I say MC Search? You really didn't get past them too. You you kept telling me that it's it's because the question is yeah, that's probably, who that's is the right. one. So you got to pick one. Who is the one? You got to pick one to roll with. Who is the one that you would say is the top tier white rapper of hip hop or MC of hip hop? Because sometimes I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you something, bro. Everybody in the grumble know that shit is Eminem. It's not even close, bro. Like it's at this point. At this point, it's not even close, bro. Like, like, let's 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 be quite honest. Go ahead. In hip, in hip hop, in hip hop entirety, mm -hmm. Eminem could out rap like ninety nine percent of those rappers, bro. But how I don't does, agree. Okay, so so I, I don't agree I'm with saying, that. I don't agree. What with I'm that. saying is this. Eminem is a, is a beast. Eminem is an entity in itself. But there mm. are parts of hip-hop that Eminem can't really get in, right? There are parts of hip-hop that, that Mac Miller has mastered. There's, In fact, there's a genre of, of hip-hop that Mac Miller was in 
that Eminem ain't never, he never gonna get in that in that lane. You never gonna hear an Eminem currency song. You never gonna hear an Eminem Kendrick Lamar song. You never gonna hear, you might hear a Kendrick Lamar song, but I doubt it. You never gonna hear an Eminem, uh, 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 like Eminem is nice. He's super nice. But, but I don't think that speaks to I don't think that would speak to him not being the top tier rapper or the top tier white rapper. I just think that speaks to those are artists that he's not doing songs with. I don't think you're no, you can't say that he can't hop on those style songs and flourish though. When when have you heard Eminem on a soul track? What do you mean like? What does that uh, mean? Just name any song you could think of for Eminem that had a soul sample in the beat or the song was soulful. Does that mean that he can't be a top tier rapper? I'm, I just asked a top. simple question. Oh, no, no, asking, you asked me, asking, you no, asked me a question. I asked you a question. Nigga, you asked me a question. All the time. I'm just asking, what does it mean? What is the relevancy I, of I, you asking me that? The, rele it has the relevancy do, is. It has nothing the relevancy to do, is. It has, but it has okay. nothing to do with us saying. We're not going to say the relevancy. You, you asked me. So when you, when you look at songs like Patient and Waiting for 50 Cent, that's soulful? It got feel to it. Uh, and, it actually got the guitars to it. with the guitars and and the horns. That's soulful. So oh, okay, okay. so look, so look. Forward, when, traffic, when you say that's an Eminem wheelhouse, when you say soul music, soul music is soul music. That's not hip hop. Hip hop is hip hop. Soul saying, music is soul music. What I'm saying, what I'm saying is hip hop is unique because hip hop is the is a combination of all those musics. So what I'm saying is you have genres of hip hop or you have sections of hip hop that are soup. You have Pete Rock, you have Common, you have Nas, you have these guys who their music, their musicality and their music is based off jazz and soul predominantly. But you can take a but you can take a track like Superman and say it's kind of soulful, bro. Because you can hear I, artists like Mac Miller hop on that track and go a totally different way, but still have that soulful cadence that M had on Superman. It just used and even to, even I, even the song. I can be um, your Superman. The, just be your Superman. Have you so listened what, to what about the what about the what about the what about like the the I am whatever you say I am like you know what I'm saying like what about records the like piano? that when dude I mean, really that was, when, that was hard dude, but mm -hmm. go ahead go ahead you no know I'm saying like I'm saying like when, when you know when uh, toy soldier. Uh, when you listen, when, when you listen to different records, when you look at Eminem, see, yeah, Eminem hard. I'm, just, I'm not tripping. I'm gonna just keep it real with you. I'm gonna just keep it real with you, bro. They they say all that just because that dude is white, bro. I'm just keep it real with you. When you look at when you look at Eminem you and you look at that what man, you, mean? you look, well, they not gonna they gonna always move the goalposts away from Eminem because he's white. So. The thing is, when when you look well, at Eminem, only right rappers though. I'm talking about only right mm. rappers though. I'm talking about right. so, white okay. rappers. So okay, so if you look at hip hop, if you look at what hip hop mm -hmm. really is, right? Let's break yeah. down hip hop. MC, what M, yeah. what white MC is better than Eminem? What white MC is better than Eminem? That's, okay, okay, okay. You know okay, hold on, hold on. I heard I heard somebody bring up a point, and, and I can't mm -hmm. speak to it because I haven't mm -hmm. heard. LP's total catalog. The only, the most LP I've I've heard is Run the Jewels LP. But yeah. there's one of these. I forgot which guy it was. He was a hip hop historian type guy. He had an argument mm. that LP is a better MC than him. Not better mm. artist. Didn't outsell him. Didn't have bigger yeah. songs than him. But MCing as a MC. If you talk about, if you talk about LP, straight MCing, MP LP. There's an argument that he's a better mm. MC than him. He might be, but LP ain't the best. Excuse me, sorry. You got Aesop Rock. You got um, you got um, like I said, MC Search. Um, you got um, you got um, uh, I'm drawing a blank. I'm drawing I just a blank. don't think I don't think. Oh, you MC got Lil Dicky. You got you got MCs who can just spit, spit, <sighs> spit, 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 spit. Who can just spit, 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 LP spit? It's a spit, bunch though. of. Who? So so uh, so how many so how many of those right? artists? How many of those artists that spit and you be like, man, what the fuck you just said? ASAP Rock. Lil that Dicky. is Eminem all day. That's but Eminem saying, double Rock, triple. Lil Dicky. Like, triple that's Eminem. Yeah, they had them same all things. They day, had them bro. same. They got they got they they definitely have those same. Uh, and all, and oh, also, already the rugged also, man. It's a bunch of guys. Is, that, 
this is what a lot of people have to look at as well. Also, some people make it sound good. Yeah. Some people make it sound good. Some people be spitting their ass off. Yeah. But if they're not in the right cadence, it'll just blow by you. But some people actually can make that shit sound good. Like, damn, that shit hard. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I hear people say, oh, man, Eminem, he rap about a bunch of nothing. I've heard that a lot. But let's be honest. Lil Wayne don't rap about a bunch of nothing? No, he doesn't. Lil Wayne is, Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne, let's not talk about Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne is the best rapper ever lived, man. Hands down, there's no discussion. It's, it's, you can't, we can't have a discussion about rap and not say he's the best ever. Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne, the problem with Lil Wayne when it comes to discussions about best ever is his songs that don't have about nothing are so big that you forget about the time my hands. You forget about the uh, 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 Louisiana. You forget about all the songs he had that had. So, the, I miss so my dogs. The reason why I say that. The I miss why my I say dogs is, is one of the right? hardest songs of all time ever. Okay. So look, the reason why I say that is I don't believe that the Eminem's and the Lil Wayne's oh, that they don't, they don't rap about nothing. I think that they always rap about something because yeah. they give you who they are. That's what they are. Like if they like to get in there, just spit, spit, spit. Okay, yeah. cool. You got guys that actually rap about good content and nobody will listen to the song. Just keeping it real with you. Nobody will listen yeah, to that. That's shit. that's a that's an audience thing, but I'm saying that Lil Wayne, like I miss my dogs, is such that that's such a poignant record word wise, what he's talking about. What he's talking about, how he's putting together, talking about his crew, that's a deep record, right? But that record doesn't get talked about because of Lollipop. Because Lollipop is so big. Lollipop is so big because white girls in Nebraska listen to Lollipop. I think, we so talk about, I think when we talk about Wayne, we actually talk about two or three versions of Because you got to talk about the, the mixtape Wayne. It's on the, the same Wayne. album. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is the same the album, album. That's what I'm saying. But the album it's Wayne the, the same... mixtape Wayne are two different Wayne's, though. Well, it's I'm saying on ways. the same album, I have this song mm -hmm. Lollipop and I have Miss My Dogs on this same album. These two totally different songs that are that are both big as fuck. But because Lollipop is, is and this is the problem with hip hop today, is that it's so involved in money. Like we put the money and the popularity over everything. Because Lollipop is so big and so 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 big, we won't talk about Miss My Dogs at all. We won't even talk about that song. Like people don't even talk about that song, how he broke down his relationship with his brothers, how he talked about his whole life and how he grew up under Juvie, how BG was his was 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 the gangster, how Turk was his brother. He broke it down. So, but so when, you, but when you listen to songs like um Lose Yourself from Eminem. That was a dope song. That was a super dope song. But in the same, but you hear what, he, but you but you hear what he did with that song. He came with mm -hmm. some guitars. He talked about himself and how. Well, no, he talked about the movie, and that's why it was so big because it was showing it was a part of the mm -hmm. movie, and and that move and that part of the movie personified how we all feel at a certain time, which is dope. Eminem is dope, but what I'm saying is that you got a Mac Miller who can make you cry. You got a Mac Miller who can talk about depression. And not talk about killing his mom and talk about not depression where he talk about depression to the common man. You got a Mac, you got you got a, a action Bronson who can be super lyrical and 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 to the point where you're like, man, I think that's Ghostface. You got an already rugged man. You got a, a MC Search that's back in the day who's spitting with with LL Cool J and 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 all these like you have other rappers who don't have to be sideshow acts to be perfect to be popular. Eminem was a mm. lot of his shit was sideshow shit. He's a great rapper. He has great content. I'm not saying that he's not probably the number one rapper, but I'm saying that if somebody mm. said Mac Miller, shit, I can't be mad at that. If somebody said already right, rugged man, I can't be mad at that. If somebody said MC Search, I'm like, uh. Yeah, but when you when, but when you look at when you look at LL Cool J, he was the same way though. He hard, yeah, yeah. But he, LL Cool but, J got. But I'm saying he hard, but he was a he was an act as well. I want to go back to Wayne right quick. You're right. It is yeah. different versions of Wayne. 
So Miss My yeah, Dog it's was different. a different it's, version of Wayne. Miss My Dog was actually on the original Carter. Lollipop was on Carter three when he was in the three. Yeah, Miss My Dog so was on Carter one. It was yeah, yeah. It was it was a different. My it, was, it was different eras of Wayne because you had Hot Boy era right. Wayne, and then you had a uh, uh, four hundred degree Wayne. What was the single on that? What was the single on on Carter three? On Carter, oh, Mr. Dog was on three. You said no, oh, Mr. Dog was on the on first quarter. On the first one, what was oh, yeah. the single on Miss, the first? Miss My Dog was on the first quarter. What was the single on, on the first one? Fireman? Uh, no, that's, a, that's on the quarter two. Bring It Back was the yeah. first the single on the first quarter. It was like three singles on the first one. Yeah, Bring It Back was the single on the first one. That was the first single. I Miss My Dog wasn't a single. No, it wasn't a single at all. It wasn't a single. I know it wasn't a single. It, it was a that, that was my point. My point was it wasn't a single, but there were songs on that album that was so big that we didn't talk about. Like, Miss My Dog. What was on that album, man? I got to think. I, gotta think. I mean, album? on this album, like, I know one of the lead singles was Go DJ. And then there you, you go. Had, that was that was uh, the biggest one. The Cash Money Millionaires was on there. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and speaking to that, I'm saying Go DJ is so big that we don't talk about Miss My Dog. It's I mean that's just like like y'all said both of y'all said earlier. But I, I do I do remember when that album came out when that album came out like a, a lot of a lot of people was like, man, I miss my dogs is the hottest song on the album. Yeah, like, I remember sitting down, mm -hmm. riding around. That's the song that got played on repeat more than all of it. You know, of course, Go DJ did, and then actually some of the interludes went harder than some of the songs. See, when you when you look at I Miss My Dog, right? Mm -hmm. When you look at that song, what also catapulted that song was the situation that was going on. So yeah. when we when we look at when we look at like um Juvie was big, BG was big, you know, and mm -hmm. Cash Money broke up and you know Wayne coming back, the whole situation made that song huge. I'm gonna tell you another song that was huge by Lil Wayne, the um Georgia Bush song. Georgia, you know what I'm Georgia. saying? So, so that, was whenever, big, that was that was that was a mixtape song. But that's what I'm saying. Mixtape Wayne and album Wayne is two different Wayne. Mixtape Weezy, yep. So mixtape Wayne go crazy, but album Wayne well, he, he is it. money, it's money based. Lil Wayne is what you tried to get off with that Eminem shit. Talking about Eminem had two careers, an album career and a mixtape career. That's Wayne. Wayne has actually had three careers. Mm -hmm. Mixtape Wheezy, album old Wayne, and then his recent run recently now where he killing everybody feature he hop on, bro. It's like he he's, on, he's always he's been on that a, though. He's always been a feature king. I'm like, come on, don't 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 hate Wayne. I'm not I'm sorry, don't say that Wayne hasn't always been a feature killer. Never said that. That's what I'm saying. Okay, boy, you, yeah. boy, you be creating narratives. I never said that. That hold is, on, you hold on. He had third second year career. I know. He's always no, Wayne, never not had, Wayne haven't always been a feature killer now. Let's get what, that part clear. What's a weak what's a weak Wayne feature? A weak Wayne feature? Yeah. Uh hardball. <laughs> <laughs> Strike one <laughs> right. with the Lils. <laughs> I, I, I stand corrected then. I stand, I stand corrected. Come on, dog. But, but I feel like I feel like this recent run of Wayne killing features is a different yeah. Wayne because Wayne and he ain't focused on albums. Like at one point, Wayne was pushing out albums every six months or more, maybe six to eight months. Huh? Pushing out album. You got to, for for a brief run. You got a Wayne album each year, huh? and then for a brief run, you got a oh, Wayne it started album with the, each uh, year. And I then think the two. And then the Carter three, wait, the Carter one, then the Carter two, Carter three, rebirth. Nah, that little, that, oh, that little stuff right there. Part. Okay, okay, I, 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 that's not. I don't want to get caught up with semantics. Long story short, Wayne, after after Fireman, after Fireman, from Fire, even before that, from from Squad Up until today, Wayne has been the best rapper on the planet. From squad up to today, you can if you take the we might have had one year when he was beating nah, up with um you gotta I gotta with, say the Carter one I gotta say the Carter one the Carter you don't one. think squad up was squad up squad, no. squad up is the what I, one. I mean because remember remember the Carter one the Carter one that's a whole that's the beginning 
of the Lil Wayne that we know now. That's the beginning He's, of the I greatest think, I rapper. I think Squad all. Up. I think Squad like so he, he around went, around Squad Up. You know what album came out? That was before Fireman, right? That was Five Hundred Degrees album. So you telling yeah, me yeah, that yeah, Five Hundred yeah. Degrees album, Lil Wayne, and called it one of the same verse? No, but I'm I'm saying I'm saying that Squad Up and that's Squad Up Wayne Five Hundred Degrees that's ain't the same person Wayne. either. That's Squad Up Wayne. Squad Up Wayne and Squad Up Wayne and Five Hundred Degrees the same person. All them dudes in that video. That's yeah. literally the same person. Yeah. I mean, that's the same the, the, person, bro. The, the, to, 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 to put it to put a, a bow on this, and really from it... 2000 to 2008, you got a Wayne album every year and a half. You want me to get Probably. albums? Yeah. I the block really, is hot. Really, 99, you dropped the block is hot. All right. Then okay. 2000, lights, you dropped lights, lights out. out. All right. Then right. Okay. 02, you get 500 degrees. And All right. Some bullshit mixtape, and then okay. uh, oh four no oh two you get you get five hundred degrees in oh two, then oh four you get a mixtape then you get the Carter, two thousand five every, yeah. every every two years, two thousand six the Carter three, no it's not even the Carter three two yeah two thousand six the Carter three, also yeah. in two thousand six you get like father like son with him and baby, and then Ooh, you probably skip two thousand seven two thousand eight you get, rebirth is the rebirth. No, nah, I'm tripping, nah. bro. This here caught us some volume shit. Oh, this some other bullshit. Two thousand. Some of those mixtapes. It should be like a rebirth mistakes. album as well. Rebirth well, you get the is rebirth like in 09. Yeah, 09. 09 okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 08, you get caught three. 09, you get rebirth. Uh, 09, you get no ceilings, which is a mixtape. Yeah. Then 2010, you get rebirth. Something else, some bullshit mixtape. You also mixtape, get yeah. I am not human in 2010. I'm not human. Five. Uh, then 2013, you get I Am Not a Human. You get a mixtape in 2015. Then you get Funeral in 2020. That was his big break. Then 2020, you get the Carter Six or whatever that is. Uh, you get another mixtape. 2023, you get the Fixed. I think that's a mixtape. Then you get Welcome. That's a mixtape. Yeah, that's a mixtape. Well, it ain't a mixtape. That's Captain Cloud. So that's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. For like a, for like a minute, you was getting an album, a Wayne album, damn near every every year. every 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 year and a half. Damn near right, every right. year, bro. For a minute, for a good three, mm -hmm. maybe four years, you got a Wayne album every year, and then he was throwing you mixtapes in the gaps. So we're the greatest mm -hmm. that Wayne's the greatest rapper of all time. That's all I want to ask. I don't know. I'm not gonna say all time. I say top five dead or alive. Though. Who who who's your top five? Uh, KOC go. My number one is, I got to say Tupac. That's my number one. Okay. My number one is Tupac. My number two is, um, my number two, I got to say Wayne. My number three is Eminem. My number four is Jay-Z. Mm -hmm. And my number five, I got to say K-Dot. God. Okay, who's, who's your five, Doug? K, K Dot is wild. <laughs> K Dot is not wild, bro. You K Dot is wild, bro. K Dot is not K wild. K Dot is wild. Mm -hmm. Top five all time in the history of rap. I mean, everybody's opinion mm -hmm. is valid. I mean, I can see what you it, got? like, like it all. But I, I've been on Kendrick since before Section Eighty, though. So I've been on Kendrick for a long time. So you've been on Kendrick when he was featured on Buttons mixtape. Yeah, yeah, I've been yeah, on Kendrick. Okay, you know, okay. He was doing shit with Dom Kennedy and shit. Like, yeah, yeah. I've been on Kendrick. Yeah, I remember I, hard, the first but... time I heard Kendrick, he was he he was featured on Joe Budden mixtape, man. That was when I guess Joe Budden was was a superior artist to K Dot. The first time I heard Kendrick was on a game track, and the second time no it was on a Dre track, then a game track. No, it was game. It was game track. Yeah, it was game track. I think Kendrick just I think Kendrick just have that music to where ten twenty years from now the album will sound like it's brand new. Because of based on what happens in life, if you look at uh to Pimp a Butterfly, that album 10, 20 years from now could be still as fresh as it was when it first came out. All right, I got a question for you. What I is, think he's one of the most yeah. artsy rappers. Hmm? What what's what's Eminem worst album to you? Oh, Kamikaze. 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 Kamikaze worse. Kamikaze. Than, it's worse than recovery. Recovery. I like this recovery. recovery. I actually like Eminem, recovery. Eminem thinks recovery is, is his worst album. Okay, what's what's um? Tupac Have you heard Kamikaze? Album? 
I've heard all the albums, bro. Come on, man. Do you think Kamikaze is a good album? I think it's better than Re- I think it's better than Recovery. It was sounds so. Like what, so you think you think you think Recovery is better than Refill? You forgot refill? about Refill. I forgot right. about Refill. Re- refill came out before Recovery. Oh. Kurt, That's I, when he I, came I, back I, out. That shit though, right? Kurt I'm not a big Eminem so. Too. Huh? Yeah, Kurt Curry Call came out before that, right? Yeah, right. yeah. I'm not I'm not just high on Eminem. So I might. I think his album. best album. I heard is it, but I don't like LP. I think that's the best album. Yeah. Honestly, I think I think Eminem's best album is is Bad Meets Evil, but that's just me. Um, what's Tupac's worst said, album? To me, Tupac's worst album. You talking about the albums that he came out with when he was alive, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have to count the uh, ones that he. Oh, called, his first most, album. His first album. Oh, you crazy, bro? Tupac and Now. What? What? That was his worst album? To me, I mean, listen, it wasn't a bad album, but if I had to put it last, okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry, I'm I'll sorry. put it last. I'll put it last. Okay, for sure. And and his because, best one. Uh, oh, that's tough. That's oh, easy. that's easy. I, 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 okay, look, okay. So if we musically heartfelt, all that I would have to say, me against the world. Uh, for that's easy. It's me against but the world. Bro. I, but easy. dog, but bro, all eyes on me, bro. Oh my god, bro. All eyes on me was was was, was, a, was, a, was, a, was, a, was a good album as a compilation album, as a Tupac album with all those first features. But the best album, the best album, the word album put together, it's me against the world easily, man. Mm-hmm. Me against the world was that was a statement. That was a that was a stamp in time. All out of me was too, but me against the world was like, man, that's that's. Uh, but it's opinion based. What's your worst? Um, who you said? You said two. What's your worst Kendrick album? I don't have one. You liked me, Mr. Morale and the and the <laughs> Hot Steppers. You hate that album, um, don't you, bro? You hate Mr. Mr. Morale and Big Steppers. I don't hate it, but I mean, it wasn't that good. Man. That, that's the one you always bring up. Whenever you want, whenever you want, whatever you talk about Kendrick, that's the one you bring up, and I think that's the that's one of the best ones. Yeah, that's I, one, of the, I took, that's one of his best me, albums. You think? I think that's one of his best ones. He haven't he haven't really missed, bro. He don't do don't really miss. Dude, so artsy, bro. He's so artsy, dog. Like he haven't really missed. I ain't gonna lie to you. To me, he haven't really missed, dog. I, I'm asking question. Go back and listen. To Have Mr. you ever heard Smino? You ever heard Smino? Smino. S M I N O. Smino. Who is that? After we whenever you get a chance, look up Smino. He's a he's a he's a hip hop artist. I mm-hmm. wanna say he signed to J. Cole. Is it with J. Cole? I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. But Smino is super dope. You ever heard of uh um um you say like RC. You think you think you think that I mean, you already said that. You said your top five dub already? Mm. What's your top five dub? I mean, Pac is always on there, face is always on there, Wayne is always okay. on there. Who? Uh, Wayne? Wayne? You said Pac, Pac wait, okay. But I feel also with some of the newer artists out. Like we talk, the the list is fluid because yeah. you can break it down in the eras. If okay. you ask me today, that's fair. I'm gonna throw J Cole on there. Honestly, I think J Cole go harder than Kendrick and and Drake. But I don't know about Drake, but I would say Kendrick. He go harder than Drake. I'm definitely throwing J Cole on there. I still throw Wayne on there. Uh, okay. I feel like you got to put Jay on there at some point. Okay. I'm still putting face. What is that for? Yeah. I don't know about the fifth. I feel like Drake deserves to be there just because of his longevity, longevity, staying power. Yeah. Hits. He a hit maker, but then M got to be on there too. So probably put M over Drake. Mm, you put M over Drake. I only put M over Drake because there's no mystery about who pins his shit. I mean, is there? I've heard 
Yeah, you're right. I don't even There's no mystery it. over who pins in. Yeah, it's shit. a mystery about they talking about proof and pin some of his shit. So. Nah, but because Eminem be checking to see if niggas pin other niggas shit when he work with them. Yeah. But I mean, I've heard that there's been conversations proof, about proof, proof pinning a hook ain't proof pinning a verse or giving him an entire song. They say the same shit about Drake. When somebody say a hook for Drake, they be like, he wrote the whole song. No, you have reference tracks of whole songs. Yeah, but Drake also wrote whole songs for other people. So I understand that too. I just said, look, yeah. hey, hey, hey. I just said there is no question who right. pinned his shit. My top five, my top five, you got Pac. Uh, you got uh, you got face. Uh, you got Kanye. You got Wayne. And at five, woo. Hmm. At five, I'm gonna say Lauren Hill. I'm gonna say Lauren Hill. I'm gonna ask you a question. Yeah. About your top five. Rappers? Yeah. Okay. So let me ask you a question about your top five rappers. Go ahead. And this is my personal opinion. Yeah. I think two of them shouldn't be on that list. Lauren Hill, who else? And Kanye West. Whoa, what? I mean, I, I, I can see, I'm, I can understand. I'm, I'm going to tell you why. That. Yeah. Right, right. Because Lauren Hill, that. when you look at the miseducation of Lauren Hill, that wasn't even really a rap album. No, it wasn't. It was everything album. Right, right. Yeah, it's everything. I, if you let me tell it, that's probably one of the greatest albums of all time. It's not the Ever. greatest album of all time. It got right. It got ranked as the greatest album of all time by a couple of West Coppers, but it that album. I saw. I saw, it, you I can't saw miss that. It. You can't I miss. I saw that. And you when I miss. see shit, when I see shit like that, bro, I try my best to contrast. Like I try my best to be like, let me think of another album mm-hmm. that's actually better than a miseducation. The reason why it was so good, bro, is because it didn't miss. Like, she had songs on that. First off, let's just talk about the accolades. She won the she best. She had rap and ballads on the That's same album. She had the, she had the best rap <laughs> album of the year and the best ballad of the year. And, like, she did so the accolades she won. Second, on top of that, bro, she had, she had songs from the 50s, songs from the 60s, songs from the 70s. But I think, the that, 80s, I think that hurt her career, though. I think it hurt her uh, career. She, no, she she just she is she, as we and this I, I I love to say that because this circles back to our whole conversation that earlier. She's an artist. She's a hundred percent an artist. Right. She's like, so she look, she look at what you're business. saying. Okay. So look at what you're saying. Yeah. Right. And I think that that part further proves the point of his hurting her career. If you it come out with an album, if you come out with an album that great. Your follow up better be on par or better. Why, my nigga? Why? I mean, because I, I feel like with anything in life, as time progressed, you should elevate. What you mean? So, so that's the problem. That's the problem, people, man. They talking about elevating, bro. Sometimes you peak. If if, if you can peak, like every I, this mm-hmm. is me. It's not. This is not. This is not real life. This is how I feel. Mm-hmm. At some point. In all our lives, we peak. Right. It might be at nine. It might be at nineteen. It might be at at eighty nine. But we peak. If you can capture when you peak and live off that peak for the rest of your life, bro, you won. She peaked, but see, man. Look, but see, but look, that's what I'm saying. That proves my point. Yeah. Because if she peaked and she knows she peaked. Yeah. Then she knows. Damn, this album was so damn good. If I come out with another one. It may not be received like this one, and it actually start throwing negatives at my career. So you supposed to go out on top. Did you hear her second album? No, was what? no second album. Yes, it was. It was. It was. It was the unplugged album. It had all original songs on it. The second album was the unplugged album. 
that came out on MTV Unplugged point two point oh, and it was all original songs. It had water. It had it had that was that was all original song. That was the second album. That was where all all falls down. Came. When it all it all falls down. That came from the second album of Lauren Hill. So 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 look okay so that also further proves the point. But that that that, that, that album was dope. Never heard that shit. I'm, I could I could assure yeah. you now. I could ask a hundred people. And yeah. probably ninety five never heard that shit. Oh, but that's but that, that don't mean it wasn't dope. Mm-hmm. It wasn't. No, I'm saying look, education in Lauren Hill though. Right. I mean, that's that's opinion. Was not Hold better. up. Time out. You just said the miseducation of Lauren Hill was the greatest album ever. The greatest made. album it, all it was time. The, it was the greatest album. You're right. You and you're right. That up and say Unplugged was doper than the miseducation of no, Lauren Hill. No, it, it wasn't. You're right. It wasn't doper. But what I'm saying is. So that's what I'm it, saying. Like, you don't think that. I'm saying it was a dope that. album, though. It was yeah, a no, super was a, dope it album. Was, right. Like, it, it was. there's it was more quotables project. in that album, rap wise, than you can, you can name your top five. She has as many like those rhymes she said were as dope as the 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 image and, and let's 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 progress and say what makes a rapper good to you personally. I don't think Lauren Hill is a better rapper than Rhapsody. I think get Rhapsody is a better here, female rapper than Lauren Hill. That's opinion based. I get you. I, well, I'm not. I can't knock you. The, all, the entire conversation is opinion based, so that's cool. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, saying, I can't. I must say, I can't opinion, knock you. I think Rhapsody is a doper rapper than Lauren Hill. I, but I, I can guarantee you that Rhapsody would say Lauren Hill is doper. I can guarantee you 100 percent that that Rhapsody would say Lauren Hill is doper. She might. I've seen Lauren Hill go on a on a stage. I mean, on, on in a press conference and spit a 16 to. Sh- and, and and shut uh, and not just on somebody ask her a question like what you think about so and so, and she spit a sixteen and the entire everybody's like, I can't believe the way she puts like the way she puts what Lauren Hill's out of this world, bro. Lauren Hill's a different animal. She's type she's like a uh, uh she's like a a, a Lenny a Lenny um. The problem the is this. The problem. The problem is this. I have to. I have to be able to to see, feel, hear your art. To to to. I have to be able to see, feel, and hear it. To say that. But you're not. A, you're not a fan though. Because the fans said, hear it. Who said I wasn't a fan? If, if, I said, if agree you with fan. you when you when you tell me the miseducation yeah. of Lauryn Hill, is the best album ever created. I agree yeah. with you. But I'm saying a fan would be like, okay. I also heard. Her on Santana's. I also heard her on Common. I also heard her on on, on uh, the Respect of Life. I also heard her on this. I was like, I'm not saying it's not a knock. I'm just saying a fan, a fan. When Kendrick does songs with Baby King, they like, oh yeah, that shit go hard. Yeah. But a novice or somebody's like, oh, I ain't even. Well, I don't fuck with Baby I King. Think, I see, with- okay, so so when you look at people with Lauren Hill, yeah. That album was so good, people wanted more of that. Fuck people. But that's who you're doing it for. You're doing no, it you, what, No, you're not. You're doing it for people. self. Fuck what? people. Oh, you're not man. doing Like, okay, so what I'm saying is like, if you think that's Picasso kept. was drawing... Man, hold up, no. Bro. You think... How's that kept? You think that Picasso was drawing what he was doing for people? You think that Andy Warhol was an making artist, that shit for I people? If I'm an artist and I make designing clothes... I'm making music. A, I'm making music for myself that I like, but I'm also making music to put out for my fans, for the people who enjoy my music. So I That's can't you. say fuck people. No, you can't say fuck people on one hand and then say support my shit on the other hand. You, that, you can't who, do that. I, that, that. But you haven't, that's what I'm saying, you're not a fan because if you heard Lauren Hill talk, she'll tell you, I gave up. I gave up all that. I gave up caring about whether they like it or not. That's what she talks about in the second album. She says, "Man, I the gave up the facade, out. the unplugged. I gave up the the facade of trying to fit into this box. I get out, I get out of your boxes." She talked, she sang about it, rapped about it. Like, no, nah, you can't put me in a box and say I'm an artist and I'm making. No, I'm just making. I'm making my. This is my art. Is that her saying this fuck is, the people, or is that her saying fuck conforming to your constructs? Both. How? And and when I say, I when I say fuck the people. Hold, listen, what I'm saying. When I say fuck the people, I'm saying that. 
if you're saying that I'm making my art to, to for the people, the people can enjoy my music. I I don't have a problem with that. But I'm saying that I'm not making my art for people. I'm making my art because that's that's what I do. That's me. I'm and if y'all like it, y'all do. If y'all don't, y'all don't. I'm not. Oh, we want another another miseducation. Well, I've I've moved past that point. That's where I was when I was nineteen, twenty. I'm thirty four now. I'm thirty. I'm well. I'm twenty five now. So, I've had so different life when experiences. You look at it, when you look at it, right? Okay, so when I say people want that miseducation again, when I say when mm -hmm. people are looking for that, they're looking for that caliber of music. They don't want a declined version of it. Like mm -hmm. if 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 the miseducation is a standard. They either want the standard or they want something high. People always want something better. Like, why would they want something lesser? So but it's, not, but it's not lesser. It's not lesser. It's just no, I'm different. Saying like, That's the thing. Okay, so okay, so it could you could make whack music, I promise you that. You could make whack even I've though subjective. Music. I've made, I have definitely that's what made I'm saying. So it, it could be <laughs> it could be lesser. So this is my thing, right? Look, so sometimes you could put yourself. In your, in a, you could put yourself in your own bad spot by actually being too good at the right time. You could actually put yourself in your own bad spot. So look, I got to go right? to Wayne. To Wayne, when so Wayne look, got look, on the look, track with uh with Tech Nine so, and said, "I'm too good for my own good." So I'm a Wayne. No. I'm a I'm a music fan, so I be knowing songs that come. But like I said, I'm just too good for my own good. I'm just so, too, I'm just now watch good. this right. Let's look at sports. Yeah. If you're a receiver, yeah, and this year you catch two thousand yards, yeah, but the next year you catch eighteen hundred yards, yeah, and the next year you catch sixteen hundred yards, yeah, even though that's a lot of yards, guess what they're gonna say? Yeah, but they dumb as fuck, man. They're gonna say you like no, fuck them, but fuck them because you, they don't right. understand. Hold up, but they don't understand. Hold up, but they don't understand that the defense is playing me different now. They don't understand that that that. I got the 1800 that year because they were playing me single. Now they're playing me double. I they don't understand that now me, I'm a decoy to get this other nigga off. Like that's a that's a novice level thinking of the shit. Like see, and most see, fans the, are novice the, level, the, man. The, right. The thing is, the thing is, if fans wasn't novice level thinkers, then these artists wouldn't be where they at. No, they would be. They would be. It's no, just, they would not be it, where they it, at. It, it just it just flip it flips Look, because when the novice world, bro, hold on when the novice when the novice way of thinking becomes the prominent way of thinking, then you have a conversations like you got to come with a better album last time. No, nah, just come with you just come with a nah, album. Nah, look, man. I'm gonna tell you this. Look, I look, I get what you're saying. That's wishful thinking. It's way more followers in this world than y'all leaders. Naturally. Exactly. Exactly. And that's how, but that's how it is, though. So you. So why we have? If you if you Go own ahead. a business, if you run in a business, you need novice level thinking people. Exactly. You need that. I agree. So, with so you. my thing is that's the main. That's the sole reason, to be honest, on why you do it. You love doing no. it. No. <laughs> but I'm saying I, I agree with you. I'm, I'm not. I'm, what you're saying makes sense. What both of y'all saying makes sense. But what I'm saying is. The conversation that I think that, that I'm trying to have with us three is on three mm -hmm. people who are not novice level thinkers. So what I'm saying is like, yeah, the novice nigga gonna be like, oh, she ain't come with this this time. It ain't no. But when you look at it with the with the artistic eye, when you look at Lil Wayne, we look at Eminem with an artistic eye and be like, okay, shit, okay. What's he really doing? Okay, the first album, Slim Shady, okay, I see you was you was um you was provocative, you 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 came at this, blah, 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 Okay, now we got the second album. Oh, you still with that same old shit. Now we come with the third album. Oh, you still with that same old shit. You didn't grow any, you didn't you didn't branch off, you just did the same thing over and over again. Nothing wrong with that. Just saying that what it is. Now you got a different guy like a Mac Miller who came with kids. Now I came with um the immaculate um God dang it, the immaculate whatever, and I came with these different albums. Okay, I'm seeing growth, and I'm seeing I'm seeing the way that you change, and I'm seeing a, 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 a um I'm seeing I'm seeing a totality of an artist. So when I'm talking about the best white rapper, and you talking mm -hmm. about LP who got who who's a thold, who's a, he's a hard. Boom bap rapper, mm -hmm. 
but he can't touch what he can't touch the types of songs that Mac Miller's touching. The same way Eminem's not touching the songs that Mac Miller's touching. Mac Miller could do the boat, could do the wordplay thing and what you call it, whatever, just like Asher Roth, just like um MGK. They can all play with the words, but okay. The totality of the artist, the bag, who bag so, is bigger? Let me ask you this, right? Yeah. What is the biggest version of Lil Wayne you ever seen? What is the but, biggest I mean, Lil Wayne? The biggest it commercially? The biggest, period. Period. The biggest Lil Wayne you ever seen. The What's the Lil biggest Wayne Lil Wayne? Had to be been uh Lollipop. I'm so glad you said that. Yeah. Carter one. Yeah. Here. Carter two. Yeah. Here. Carter yeah. three. Here. It's lollipop. Yeah. Now tell me yeah. about after lollipop. After lollipop, we got uh Mona Lisa. We have all these mixtape features. We got uh I mean he got songs with Go Face, Benny the Butcher, uh what's the one he did? What's the uh the mixtape series think he that's did? His peak wing, though. Mm-hmm. I don't think so none of think- that. No, I don't think none of the mm-hmm. recent stuff. Shit with Benny the Butcher. All that, I don't think that's peak Wayne. I just think that's so you Wayne. Think Saturday rap morning just just, just dropped last month. It's not. It's not as good as Lollipop. I, I think because that's not a complete. I would assume y'all are talking about complete project Wayne, since that's what we're talking about. I think we talk, I think we're talking about right. I'm yeah. asking. Are we talking about complete project? The complete yeah. project. The last complete project that I listened to. From Wayne, that I could compare with that would be um, No Sentence Three. Is that three? I've listened to every album that Wayne has dropped. Is in my phone. I've listened to it and enjoyed it. But but No Sentence is a mixtape. Yeah, I think to me, okay. Carter, Carter. Well, he ain't trying to. Uh, I mean, what's the uh? No, nah, that wasn't. That wasn't. So I said that to I me, said Carter, that to, right. to me, Carter Two is the ceiling. If you ask me what the ceiling is for Wayne, the best project he put out, put out to me is right. Carter Two. Now look, because a lot of people that, say that. A lot of people say that Carter Two to, is the, is best, the best Wayne because to me that is the evolution of Wayne. Mm-hmm. That's Wayne. I think Carter One was to come mm-hmm. out. I think Carter One was Wayne's coming out party saying I am him. Mm-hmm. I think Carter Two. Was the evolution of Wayne and everything that it you solidified him? It solidified him. And, and everything you okay. get after Carter Two, like right now, what we getting is just Wayne and rap form in year twenty. So, you know what I'm saying? Okay, you, okay, yeah. Not, stop there. Stop there. Hold on. Stop there. Stop there. Stop there. Though, you said he's been in rap. I, I'm agreeing with you 100 percent that Carter Two was the antithesis or whatever, or mm-hmm. t- two or three or whatever. But he ain't came down off of that. Mountain since he did funeral. That's funeral, what I'm saying. Funeral wasn't nowhere near Carter two. He had he he now he's had verses sprinkled in that are Carter so, two level, but he but like funeral one Carter two. So I'm saying the, that so, so Wayne has come off that mountain. He he. It's been times when like Wayne ain't hard. Wayne ain't the hardest. No, we're look, talking about so, a complete project. We're talking. We're not talking about okay. Lucy's. I'm talking about a complete. I mean, I guess that's, that's, when we talk that's about like project. That's the best. I'm talking about like the biggest we've seen him. The biggest yeah. is Carter Three. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's the biggest we've seen him, Carter Three. So if we go off the, the height of Lil Wayne, that's kind of where he peaked at. Yeah. Cause think about it, Boogie. Tell me about the Carter Four. Carter Four was Carter Four was it yeah. was it was okay. Yeah. It wasn't bad. Right. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Right. It was okay. So, so my thing is this, right? So, Carter Five was hard though. Carter Five was hard. Carter Five was hard though. Carter Five was hard. But it wasn't Carter, Carter Five. Two three. I'm saying, but if I'm saying, and that's what we're saying. We're saying, that's, but that's we're not saying fair that's though, bro. Same. How you gonna compare me to me, my nigga? We How you gonna compare no, no. me to me? Right, but, but it's like telling it's me like that this. because like, I wasn't about, as good as I was then, and I ain't good, but I'm still better than everybody else. It's like this. It's like this. Derrick Rose a couple of seasons ago was the last, not last season, the season before. How many points he dropped in one game? It was like the most points he, had, he had yeah, ever it, dropped in a game. Yeah, how many, yeah how 50 many point dropped? game. He had like yeah, a 50, 50 point, point game. game, right? Yeah. So he dropped a 50 point game, which was the highest amount of points he dropped in one game, but that was not peak prime Derrick Rose. Peak prime Derrick Rose has already peaked and was a couple years Early ago. Early Chicago. 
Right? Yeah, that was peak prime Derrick Rose. We ain't saying that Derrick Rose still at that time when he dropped 50 won better than guards in the league. We were not saying that he still wasn't him, but we saying that ain't the full – you're not getting that season after season after season no more. That is in spurts now. But Okay, okay. And, and, that's, what and so I, that's, what I, that's what I'm saying. I always what say I'm this, saying. right? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. I always say this. Look, the most selfish person in the world is a fan. Because fans don't care about none of that other stuff. They just want good product. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when you look at it, what – is the main thing a fan want? They want consistency. If you was so, good, if you good the first time, they yeah. want you to either be good or better the second time. Mm-hmm. They don't want you to decline. Mm-hmm. So we go back to Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill made an album that was so good. Yeah. I think that just about anything that girl would have put out after that, bro. Yeah. It's hard for me to see something being better than the greatest album of all time. Yeah, that's true. It's hard for it's hard for me to see that, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes you gotta stop Michael Jordan, for example. Mm -hmm. If why nobody talk about Michael Jordan when he was with the Wizards? They do though. They be like, nigga, you was at you was forty, bro. When they talk about Jordan, they do not bring that nigga up. (laughs) But the facts, the facts are when they bring up Jordan with the Wizards, they bring up Jordan, they bring up damn the forty year old Jordan who still was getting buckets. But in comparison, but but it's a KOC goes point in comparison to Bulls Jordan. You you he washed. But I'm saying, but me being washed is better than 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 ninety five percent niggas. But you're the goat. Even even right now, even when you even when you compare. Uh, LA, LA Laker LeBron James to yeah. prime LeBron in Cleveland in Miami, he washed. No, he's not but washed, bro. He's, he's, actually, actually, he's actually averaging the same amount. I'm just saying when you compare across the, two, the board, he's washed. They're, actually, they're, they're the same. I'm just saying when you try to The teams to are washed, two, but he's averaging the same. You get what he's I'm 27. saying, though. But you get what I'm saying, though. Michael Jordan, Wizards was yeah. still probably better That's better than, than LeBron because LeBron is different. League. But compare uh, uh, Michael Jordan Wizards to Michael Jordan Bulls, that nigga's washed. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just I'm gonna I'm gonna say this. But I also think uh, that I'm gonna, I also think that okay. Lauren Hill might have peaked with the miseducation of Lauren Hill. She might have put that album out, and even though that was her first solo album, that was her peak. Like she couldn't follow that up with something better. I don't think I think that she knew she couldn't do it. That's why she didn't do it. I think if she would have known she could have did it, she would have easily did it. Okay, I, I think she would easily did it, bro. I also think Carter. there's a mixture of that and the fact that she might have been kind of sick of some shit that was going on within the music industry and just didn't want to deal with that shit. That could be a thing too. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, okay. She seems like she don't really like dealing with the music industry. Yeah. Car- yeah. Uh, Carter. Carter Five. Dedicate. Uproar, can't be broken. Dark side of the moon featuring Nicki Minaj is one of the best tracks. Mona Lisa with Kendrick Lamar. Um, open letter. Famous with his daughter. Hitters, dope niggas with Snoop Dogg. So what are you saying? We understand. I'm saying this. That, we, we understand what the album was, but what are you saying? I'm saying that this album was was was. Let it all work out. This album was this album was a this was like a bro. It was no slouch album. Yeah, the album was, was no slouch at all. Didn't say it was. Like no, nah, it was I'm, no I'm slouch. Saying, I'm saying not the point in, in the made. Carter echelon, in the Carter echelon, it's a top tier album. Okay, just because just because Carter three was, is it better than Carter two I, or three? That's my question for you. Is Carter but, five better oh, than two or three? I'm going to answer that by saying no, uh-huh. but. That's all but, we said. But <laughs> there's no but. but. That's all we there's said. A but, there's we a didn't but. say it was no, a bad but. album. We didn't say it was a yeah. slouch album. We didn't say it wasn't a top corner album. We didn't say it was a top. It wasn't a top Wayne okay. album. Okay. We said what I'm said saying. If it's a top Wayne album, then, I, then no. We simply said, yeah. In our opinion, Carter yeah. two was the is is is, 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 is prime peak Wayne, and Carter three is is the what you call that shit? Opus what? What they call that shit? 
And Carter Three was, was his. In, in in KLC goes where Carter Three was Wayne's, where he was his biggest at his height of of yeah. of, of superstar. Superstar. But what I'm saying, all I'm saying is that Carter Five. Let's say that if the notches are ten to to, to one, and Carter Three is the ten. Carter five is a nine. Is it better than Carter two or three? Carter Carter two and three are tens. Is Carter is five Carter is a five nine? Better, is Carter five better than two and three? No, but it's I a nine that's though. That's all we saying. We're not saying so, it's not a nine. We're not saying yeah, it's okay. not a fire album. That's we're not mm-hmm. saying any of that. So if that it's a nine, nothing, that how is not are you telling me? Discussion okay. being yeah, a yeah, nine yeah, cool. has nothing to do with. The I ain't gonna lie to you. None of that. I gotta put. I gotta put the Carter one over the Carter five, bro. I would too, to be honest with you. I, I, really I gotta put the, the I'm a D boy and I miss my dogs and all that. Oh, fire as fuck. I don't know. Though. Carter, it Carter Five, for, Carter for Five me, is hard. If you really truly ask me, for me, it'll be Carter Two, Three, One, then Carter Five. Five, then Four, yeah, for the sure. Thing, the thing, and the thing that's so unique about this conversation is that I think everybody's in agreement that all these albums are fire. We're just saying Nobody which one is hotter. Way. Right. I, I agree. Right. I'm saying I'm saying saying which one, talk- honestly, we're really not even saying which one is higher. High is hotter. We're really saying yeah. that this is when this artist peaked. If you, right. I, but see, I, I disagree because I, I think I think that no, right now I he's think, peaking right now. I don't he's think peaking he's peaking right, right now. now. He's not peaking right now. Why is nah, Wayne, Wayne right now, bro? Listen, bro. No. Wayne is on autopilot. Yeah, he Wayne is clearly on right autopilot. Wayne so been doing he... what Wayne is doing. See, and what Wayne is doing, Boogie. What Wayne is doing today, Wayne been doing this for years. But so I'm this saying, but not, how, how, so this is not he, him peaking. He hasn't been doing oh, this right, for you're right, years. Right, you right. So this That's ain't Wayne saying. peaking. No, no. But I'm saying he peaked and he plateaued. He ain't dipped off. So we well, never said saying. he did. Okay, if I'm saying, so what I'm saying is that no. he he hit a peak and he hasn't come off of that perch since. 2000 and something. That's what we've been saying. That's what we said 30 minutes mm-hmm. ago. Right. That's the point we made 30 okay. minutes ago. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I get it. All right. Um, what's the last what's the, what's the last uh, conversation we can have? We Man, that's it. We can end on a Wayne conversation, bro. That was a nice little convo. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. I would ask yeah, KLC Go about his uh. His, his NFL predictions, but you might be in love with them trash Saints. So you know, I don't want to hear no, I don't want to hear no Saints you, talk bro. from the. From nah, from... actually, I'm not. <laughs> oh yeah, I was gonna say because you know you 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 New Orleans dudes, man, y'all love y'all some Saints, man. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, a lot of them dudes be new Saints fans, bro. <laughs> they be like Drew Brees and after, you know what I'm saying? But um. I'm gonna tell you what you do when you run across a Saints fan. This is what you ask. Or I always ask you this one question: Who was the coach before Sean Payton? Just ask him that question. When you run run across any Saints fan, who was the coach before Sean Payton? You trying to tell me they weren't fans of Billy Joe Tolliver Saints? I'm going to say Billy Joe Tolliver. I I, I love Billy Joe Tolliver, man. You you know, I just got the ball and I just went down throw the ball down court. You know what I'm saying? I was just like, we woo be. What was homie? It was Mike Vick. Yeah, you got bad, bro. Uh, I don't know. Brooks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. He was Aaron nice. Brooks. He was nice, he was nice he was man, nice. but he just, he, he just he had a, nice. he, 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 you can't put a black man. He smiled too far, though. You can't put a black man in New Orleans for that long, man, if he ain't from New Orleans or if he ain't from the South. <laughs> Why you can't, bro? You got it. Because, man, it's, bro, you, it's, it's too much, man. It's too much, bro. Like, man, that we is, like, Dak is good where he at, man. You know what I'm saying? Stroud is good where he at, man. He from where you from? Ohio or California? Yeah, they used California. to be booty chicks, man. No, nah, I thought I thought CJ was from Atlanta. No, nah, CJ Stroud was from Atlanta. He went to Cali, he's from California, ain't he? I know he I know he came up in uh in Cam Newton uh youth program, youth youth leagues. I thought he was from, from Atlanta. I could be wrong though. But people from Atlanta are still saying he used he used to be with the girls, you know what I'm saying? So he's saying he that's why your boy, that's why your boy from the Pelicans can't get right, Zion Williamson. Man, did you see his transformation? He went. To, he, he he he. Okay, I'm tripping. He 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 was born man. in California. I'm, I'm tripping, man. Bro, he's Zion still, he, he Williamson, lost, like he's slim, bro. Get out of here, man. He lost four pounds, man. Nah, you gotta see him, bro. I seen he him. Unrecognizable. He, he came. He unrecognizable, into the league. Bro. 
Look, he came to the league at 285. He's 281 right now. So you telling me you saw the picture like from a week ago? Yeah, man. He got a skinny face, bro. He's still 281, man. Uh-huh. <laughs> He, 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 he been doing these right here with slim the, with the bro. How you know he's not a slim 281? He could be a slim 281, he could be, bro. He could be. He could be. I'm just saying that he was 285 what's, his rookie year. What's, what's the little porn star he's missing with, man? Maybe, maybe she put a root on him or something. Bro. Maya, she, whatever her name is. Uh, 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 she, she, you know, she, she, she Latin, so, you know. See what I'm saying? He ain't used to he he where are you from North Carolina? He ain't used to that, man. You know, they ain't got them New she Orleans. Ain't a product, type. But she ain't a product of New Orleans, though. She ain't she, a product, man. She a product of hoisms. Hmm. Who y'all voting for, man? Hey man, KLC. On the way, on the way out. KLC. On the way out. Who y'all voting for? Let's I don't want who let's, let's let speak, people know I so they can I don't, I don't talk politics with people because they might try to counsel me if I don't want to rock with the person they want to rock with. You know oh, okay. I'm 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 voting for Kamala, man. I'm I'm voting for Kamala, man. I don't know what y'all were. I'm voting for Kamala. Y'all not with Kamala, <laughs> man? Y'all going for Trump, man? I, y'all voting for, uh, um, what's his name? Dr. I'm West? Gonna, I'm voting for Deion Sanders. I'm going to write Deion Sanders in on my uh, on my ballot. I'm going to write prime time. I'm voting for Killer Mike, you know? <laughs> yeah. I will vote for Killer Mike. I ain't going to say nothing, man. Yeah, cause you, <laughs> you, 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 you the main one to stay on cold. Any black person going, it, this in power, we gotta ride with them. But then you don't want to vote for Killer Mike, boy. I tell you, man. Killer well, Mike on. ain't running, man. That's why he ain't running. It be on. Now he is running. Did you not hear a single bro? Run, nigga, keep running. That's what he said. He's not, he not running, running for the presidency. Nigga. I'm saying he running the jewels, huh? Yeah, he running the he jewels. Running the jewels. That's what he's doing. Too. He ain't running the presidency, man. He drop jewels though, man. Like like people like kill if, mm-hmm. if you want to get behind celebrities, all these people want these celebrities to have these point of views and politics and all that shit. If you want to get behind somebody, you should get behind behind Killer Mike. A nigga like Killer Mike, yeah. They probably wouldn't know. Killer Mike be, be you'll, hear, you, uh, you'll hear somebody say Owens. some shit like, Well, well, he really has more conservative views than than and then they start doing all that shit because, you know, whatever. Yeah, it'd be a whole slew of things. But, you know, whatever. On the, on the way out, the issue, one of the issues with, with, with um, one of the issues with politics or anything is like when you label something, something, when you say it's conservative, liberal, so-and-so, that really is just, that's just a way of, of, of trying to divide. You know what I'm saying? A label, a great American artist once said, it's the label's job to label you, don't fit it and they'll drop you. So, like, that's what it is. Like, that's what big companies or big or they try to label something so they can put it in the box. Because if you've labeled something Democrat, Republican, conservative, liberal, then the general consensus is that if you're this, you think that way. When people are not that, people are very uh, non-monolithic. They don't think in one box. Oh, I'm a Democrat. I think this way. I'm a Republican. Now they have a spread, but if you put it in a box, it's easy to be like, either vote for this box or that box. But, you know, I don't know much, man. I just navigate through life with my hands up, open. KLC Go, man, we appreciate you for coming on the show. Man, Everybody for sure, for sure, anytime. Yes, sir. Uh, 84th World Tour, the EP. I got mine off of Apple Music, but you can get it wherever you stream your music from. Uh, give them your socials right quick so they can come check you out. Go to your YouTube. You got to go check his YouTube page out because he got some fire videos on there. Because, uh, you know, I've been, we've been rocking with you for a minute, bro. You know what I'm saying? You and the female, Dominique, man, we've been rocking with you for a minute. And like I said, we got oh, yeah. this, this murder mystery down. And you gave me a great idea sitting there talking to you. I need to talk to you. I'm going to call you. Talk to you about this eighty fours world fair because I want to know some more about this. So okay, uh, but, I ain't even yeah, promoted my I ain't, I ain't even promoted my single EP that dropped years months weeks ago. How long ago? I I, 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 I you know what? I'm wait I'm I'm away I'm away I'm away I'm, away. I'm a gone wait on it man. You know what I'm saying? I didn't drop a couple of singles and EPs over the last twelve months, but I I, I really just you know what I'm saying be playing oh, slow you know. Where, where can I check yeah, out? Yeah, that's streaming. That's where? streaming on uh, all, everywhere, man. Apple, iTunes, all send that. Me the link. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'll send a link, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I think Juggernaut on it. Uh, Jugger, yeah, Velvet on one of them. And uh, uh, what's the space? 
Man, you uh, don't even know overflow. you own your own tracks? Man, look. You know who I, I do, do know? Uh, you know who I do know who knows on their tracks? KLC, who? go. Go, <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to say, because I don't know do where, where they can find you. <laughs> again, bro, where they can find you. Oh man, uh, Instagram, the real KOC Go, C H E R E A L K O C Go, um, it's Facebook K O C Go, uh, pretty much everything K O C Go, <laughs> pretty much gotcha. everything K O C Go. You know, it's a fake K O C J. It's a fake K O C Go out there trying to because I actually I somebody nigga, said, somebody had got the name, so I had to put the real K O C Go. Oh, if you want, if you want to go talk to him personally, you know, so I'm six four, man. You know, what I'm saying I'm, I'm an intimidator. I got a question. Well, hey man, it was a pleasure hollering at you again as always, man. KOC. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. 16 shots. Let's get it, let's get it. Man, make sure you hit me up, bro. Let's talk about it. Yes, sir. I will hit you up. You know what I'm talking about? Do I get a part in this movie or what? Because, you know.